Niger Gezi is not a prophet, a fake man of God, a cheap liar, and a womanizer. <laughs> Just that things are happening. Things are happening. Secrets are being revealed. People's eyes are now opening. Now, the widow of the late um, Honorable John Kuma, the MP for Ejes who passed away just last week. Yes, his wife has spoken to Asasi Radio and she has narrated the story of what really happened because she was in the ambulance with him. And also, she has commented on Captain Smart's issue and Prophet Nigel gave this prophecy. She said the secrets that are flying. <laughs> According to her, Prophet Nigel Gezi already knew that the man was sick before the prophecy and he came to do some things. Also, she wants them to question Captain Smart. She said there's a lot that we have to talk about. I'm the headless YouTuber, there's headless reactions. Alatiare, Yanko! is brought to you by Samsung Galaxy S24. Now, this S24 that has come, no? it comes with the Galaxy AI. And Galaxy AI has some four very nice features that I would like to tell you about. The first one is the circle to search. If you see something online or you're looking for something but you don't know how to type and describe it in Google, so that Google will search for it for you now. You can just circle on your phone and Galaxy AI will pull all the research that you need on that particular image. Also, there's the photo assist. Maybe you've taken a very nice picture, but maybe there's somebody in the background who is not looking nice and has spot the picture. You can just mark that person. You can delete the person. Galaxy AI will fix the background for you. It will not even look like an edited picture. There's also the note assist, where you can type notes or you can even speak and then dictate the notes to Galaxy AI. And Galaxy AI will arrange it, give you the bullet points, summarize whatever you want. Galaxy AI will do it for you. And there's also the live translate where you can speak to somebody on phone. You can call somebody in another country. You will speak English and the person will hear it in their language. Maybe French or German or Spanish or something. And the person will also speak Spanish and you hear it in English. Yes. Now these are the cool features that come with the Galaxy AI that you can get on Galaxy S24. Only from Samsung. So yes, you can go and get one now. It starts from 9,999 Ghana cities. Now let's move on to the topic of the day. Apostle Lillian Kuma, the wife of the late uh, Honorable John Kuma, the MP for Ejeso, yes, she spoke to Asasi Radio and she has given her account of what really happened. Since uh, Honorable John Kuma died last week, Thursday, a lot of speculation. People are saying things. Everybody came out with their own story. Captain Smart's video started trending when he said that the man was poisoned and he knows who poisoned and what happened. No, it started trending. Also, the prophecy from Prophet Nigel Gezi on 31st December 2023, that one too started trending. But then, his wife was spoken to, and this is what his wife said. According to his wife, Honorable Jokuma was in Germany. He left Germany to Ghana on Sunday, 3rd March 2024. That was when Honorable Jokuma left Germany to Ghana. When he got to Ghana, he was healthy. He was fit. On Monday, 4th March, he went to work. He went to Parliament. He went to work. On Tuesday, 5th March too, he went to work, but then it's like he wasn't really feeling too well. He wasn't too well or too okay. But then the main reason why he was in Ghana or he left Germany to Ghana was because of the 5th March celebration. He really wanted to join his, uh, his people at Ejeso uh, for the 6th March celebration. And because of that, that's why he left Germany and came to Ghana. So his wife was telling him that he should even forget this set match celebration so that he goes to Germany and continues whatever treatment he was doing. He should just leave the set match. But because of, you know, his patriotism, according to his wife, because he loves the country so much and stuff like that, no? he went for the set match. So he went to Ajesu on set match. Now, it was that set match too. He, uh, she spoke to him on phone and she saw that his condition was worsening. It was like he's losing strength. And so she had to drive from Accra to the Ashanti region to Ejesu to go and see her husband. She actually got there on Thursday, 7th March. That's when she got to where her husband was. And she got there around 7.30 a.m. Now when she got there, her husband couldn't move. He was, you know, very stiff. He couldn't move. He was struggling. And because of that, they put him in an ambulance to drive him straight to Accra. 
So she even left her car. She drove there. She left her car for somebody over there. And then she joined the ambulance with a, uh, the man's personal doctor and some technicians in the ambulance. And they were driving from Ashanti region all the way to Accra. Now, around 11.35 a.m., that was when uh, they noticed in the ambulance that the man's vitals had started dropping. At first he was sweating, now he's not sweating anymore, but then the vitals have dropped and stuff like that. And because she had a little background in, you know, medicine, she could also read and see that, no, things are not going well. And the doctor in the ambulance told them that the way things are, they should look for a nearby hospital so that they can take him there, give him a oxygen, and stabilize him, and then they can continue. And around that time, they had gotten to Suhum, so they went to the Suhum hospital, and that was around 11.35 a.m. Now, when they got there, the doctors tried their best. They did what they could do and all that. But then, unfortunately, at 12.20 a.m., they came to bring the news to her that the Honorable has passed away, and that is the story according to his wife, Apostle Lillian Kuma. This is what she says happened. Now, according to her, her husband was not poisoned. In fact, according to her, no doctor has told her anything about poisoning or food poisoning. She knows what killed her husband, like the disease or whatever it is. No, she didn't mention in the interview, but she said that she knows what it is. And it is not food poisoning or it is not poisoning. However, we've all seen Captain Smart's video that was trending of, you know, Captain Smart saying with so much authority that he, uh, Honorable John Kuma was poisoned. Would you have John Kuma for a say, You were poisoned. I won't come say, John Kuma, any impending phobia, SCM, planning and said, John Kuma, baby, I all pre quarrel. Why, sha? John Kuma bet me a frack on your love, will be a obedient to me, stopping on. Say me, yeah, for a phone, I fetch him out to me. There is a chairman who is a Serbian and is a Wendibia. At the time, I was with John Kuma or a doctor. A chief. Who said, Wound to me, I reacted to that food poisoning. No. No, my dear, you know, said John Kuma, you okay? At the John Kuma, he was intentionally poisoned. And he's aware. I can tell you the date and time I John Kuma called India. Not where they were India. This issue of poisoning is the MPP. So this place, they asked her that, what do you think about this? And she said, no, 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 no. If Captain Smart can come and say all these things in public like this, and nobody will hold him accountable, and nobody will ask him questions to provide proof and evidence and things, then it means the country, there's no justice in the country. Because she knows that her husband didn't die from poisoning. So if Captain Smart knows something, they should ask him and he should provide evidence. But the way uh, they are speculating about his death is really unfortunate and it's discouraging. And in fact, uh, yeah, Mama is disappointed in even the legal systems uh, in Ghana. Argentina will be a board, a car and same say. And if indeed, sir, or be a poison, a brand or ye juma, a ma or minor, and in a political party. Why should we sit down and not bring that person to book? Now, just say, then this country is not worth living, in fact, living for left alone to talk about dying for. If it's true, say, or be to me, nipa or ye living being, on your ghost to say, on him how my husband died that he was poisoned and that person is still moving around for the past three weeks they say i am a yana i am a rehona meaning how i make us have some no say a maybe was as a crew we move a a casampa i think this is the time and i'm telling the laws of the land and even the leadership of the land that they should bring that I mean that wicked man that I don't know the Captain Smart is so orchard no umbe yin in pee. And yes I my way, me and Kasamiya Mubabi and Pun will be some more mine. Now after Captain Smart's issue, then they came to Prophet Nigeria's issue. That the prophet, you know, he came to prophesy on 31st December that 
a, a, a certain deputy finance minister hey, this is what will happen to you and all that I saw a deputy minister of finance. Me uh, deputy minister of finance. If he can take care of himself, I see him at the highest height of government. But they want to attack him. Deputy minister of finance. If he can take care of himself, in the next years. God will help him. And I saw him at the seat of government. But they have, they have said that they want to crush him. Deputy Minister of Finance. Now, according to Apostle Lillian Kuma, the wife of Honorable John Kuma, they know Prophet Nigel gave him personally. They know him personally. They've eaten with him before. They visited him before. He has visited them before. They have a personal relationship. According to her, Prophet Nigel David knew that the man was sick. As at November 2023, the man was sick. Prophet Nigel David knew it. He even saw the man at an embassy when the man was sick. And he knows that the man was sick. So he just did titration and titration. And then he came to give that prophecy based on permutation and forecasting. And, you know, you get it. Uh, again. I don't know this country no any pain will say omo ka sin bia obi a en hold you omo responsible into obi a pese onya ni fame ana se oba public notice na o pe obi a o wa bonti na o di ne ho abata no aka cancel niger gazi let me go straight niger gazi was like a brother onim Lawyer John Kuma personally one on one. Yet nephew edited that is how far. O free acquaintance you buy a best study as of way back or study on one ministry. Church Disciples of Christ Ministry. Obao mea minini a program. Let the prophet speak. Inti minimum one on one. Ah, we are aware even somewhere November. That John Kuma is seriously sick. Me a woman of God. And T I saw for the Asamu Tumia Omuna me run a fest. Mini fathers Ghana Father or woman mua a bea no one gasa John Kuma cross a sofu. Or your sofu and gas will preach. Only muno no let me pano far. Or was special place for pastors. And the men of God you knew more agro. Including Tamano or Jason Niger Gazi, Yamini Papa Pan, Monocrano, Kaomoa, Omoa, Nipe Russo, Niger Gazi. Into a nim assembling in answer, Papa Yare, our ya way, and Sana would name assembly from August, November, Nina, and at thirty first, Okojina and Water, such as Uncle Tumpono, and would this Antron, which I say, well, and the way crow of she said, you all pick your assembly say, yes, see, a Ghana deputy minister. Me, why you know this man? You know his name, you know his house, you know his wife. One on one. So why do you have to lie? And then what begin was wash and come on be. And true we are do be nyade. Uhunu we unhunu embezia no yare. I won't me in ya that uh in him so or no fano. Now after saying all this, she took it a notch higher and said that Prophet Niger Gazi is a womanizer. And he has been seeing people's death. He is always seeing people's death and the bad things that will happen. But he there, his womanizing, he doesn't see. The thing that he has been doing that because of that, he can't go to a certain churches because he has been chopping people there. No? That one there, he doesn't see. It is people's death that he sees. And that he is not a prophet. He is a fake man of God. He is a cheap liar and a womanizer. These are the words of the woman, not me. She said that Prophet Niger Gizzi has been chopping every girl that he will meet. Every congregation he goes to, he chops someone there and they sack him. Na Niger Gazi no, the Emi Yani say, Otimi Hunu say Obi Yare, Ohu ne ma peno. Onse Ohu kofu yere na ope omo na ni di enyami chanchere no. Ohu Ghana em em peni fu onse mbetu on. Ono ani fi na odi odi ma se mama ne yere fi on ndi Ohu ye, ndi di Ohu ye. Me ame say. Busani said the ain't and church obe could be an air pamano. Baby obe do be your cofu be ye. And you'll be say, I'm a woman of God. Mean mean radio so any sadino. Me dinayam 
Niger Gezi is not a prophet, a fake man of God, a cheap liar, and a womanizer. A from a big oi and call for yere and oh dear chili. Me, I'm in a umbu at the impu, only need ye. And I can't challenge him anywhere. This is a painful moment, and I don't expect anybody to take unnecessary advantage of us. We are not in a serious relationship. On be ye no ano. The only thing I'm and the only thing I'm not yah sorry them ho. I'm by all tasu me preachy be. The only thing I even Church of God obo ase the whole gang na kumasi only thing ko ho be. And no na omen yah kupon and na ne di. No man ho 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 di ya odi be giant ko fo yere. Emu suso ne omu ho ko. Na manem kwa awa, na so si se ya no bedi na so fudi eni dia, onka shen kudu, jo nkuma dia wewe eni dia, ono no so oyeso fu, i jani ni na ma nyami, o nyami ndi ni ntemasem, de mi woka chere na no kure biye ni, oye tofu, o ni mi se jo o yare, eno o ya we, eno de ko shen ko, that is no prophecy, that is fakeism. Oja, 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 oja. Ay, ay.